Photographing lightning with your drone. It's possible. Let's have a look. Cue the music. Hi guys, it's Stephen from the Flyby Guys, how are you all doing? And today's video is all about photographing lightning with your drone. Here we go. So, you want to shoot some photographs of lightning. The best way to do this is to make sure that you have the best radar application or website. Blitzorkdrone.org is the best that I use and it gives live up-to-date lightning strikes wherever you are. So you can go to the website, I'll leave the link down below. Use that link to check any incoming lightning. Once you do that, get yourself outside, then you can get into a position that you know that the storm is coming. Put up your drone, put it into video mode, and put it into the fastest frame rate that you possibly have. So whether I'm using a Mavic 2 Pro for most of the time, so I put it into 1080p and I use 60 frames per second. Why use the fastest frame rate? Because you want to have more frames to capture lightning because lightning is very, very fast. It's super fast. So the slower the frame rate, you might miss some of the lightning or might miss some of the best shots of lightning. So the fastest possible. So if you have a Mavic 2 Air, that has a very fast frame rate. So you'll probably have the ability to capture amazing shots of lightning with that drone. So once you get that up, start filming and wait, just wait. And like me, you may put your drone up and you might find that the, uh, that the storm just actually doesn't appear or it might just vanish. That happens, so it's just your luck. Point the drone, if you happen to capture some lightning, if you wanna wait and capture more, then fine. If not, bring the drone down because remember safety first, that's very, very important. Uh, then you can get yourself home and then you can start the process of, of capturing the images. And let's see how we do that now. So here we have the drone up in the air. Um, excuse the gimbal out of line. Uh, I was very, very quick to hear thunder and I literally just ran outside and put the drone up in the air um, so it's a little bit uh, not level but obviously I can fix that when I take the images from the video so I'm trying to frame the shot I can see the rain in the distance there so it's kind of just on the rule of thirds there towards the side that's where the rain is and uh, just waiting now just literally waiting so trying to fix the exposure a little bit as well trying to get balance because when i take this image it will be jpeg i won't be obviously i won't get raw so i'm going to be limited to what i do so literally now i just wait and then there you are so okay that was that was the only lightning there was so I wasn't able to get any more. So let's look at the process to see how we get the image from this. This is the application I use for video editing and this is LumaFusion. So I've imported the drone video of capturing the lightning into LumaFusion. And now I'm just searching for the lightning and this is around the one minute mark. I usually take note when lightning happens because it can be quite hard to find. So uh, I did note that it was one minute. So at one minute, you'll see here that I have found the lightning. And once you find the frame, which might be quite difficult because of the frame rate, so you might find that it won't be. So there you can see right there. And there you can see one of the frames. So once you capture that one part of the image, which is this one, you can then go and capture a snapshot of that image. 
So whatever application you're using, if you grab a screenshot or whatever, but remember it will be JPEG. So, but you, if you want to crop that, you can do it in your application or you can do it in your photo application, whatever you use in post. Uh, again, this is something which I can go in and manipulate the image if I want to straighten it, um, if I want to, you know, you know, maybe even crop in or something. So all this can be done within whatever application you use. I prefer to do all this kind of work in Lightroom. So I, I use Lightroom for, for editing itself. But uh, anyway, the snapshot has been taken um, and that is now in my photographs now. So now we can just come out of Loma Fusion and then we can go into our photo app and there you can see, there you will have your photograph of the lightning which you've taken with your drone. So that you then just go into whatever photo application and then just manipulate it from there. And also, which the first thing I had done was to straighten it. So that's what I do. And, uh, and the finished product was this. So I'm quite happy with this. Um, I do spend a lot of my time on blitztalk.org looking for more lightning coming in so I can grab more. But I'm very interested to see your work. If you have a different process, please comment below. Maybe even leave a link to your own work. I would love to see that. Uh, my Instagram is also in the um, in the in, in the list below so you can see i've actually squared this image I, I don't have it full like this i actually just have it square uh, but i'm very interested to see what your process is and also your work using a drone and please remember be very careful keep distance away from any thunder and lightning to make sure that you're safe and your drone as well so that's it that's how you capture your images uh thanks thanks for thanks for watching everyone um, please consider subscribing, smash a like, thank you very much, and uh, see you all for the next video. Okay, thank you. Fly safe.